episode, Not Your Dad's Beer. Your host, Mark Bay, is with Daniel Quinn here at Euclid Hall, one of the very best beer bars in the entire country, let alone Colorado, downtown Denver in Lodo. Uh, today we're going to be tasting a really cool brewery, also located in Denver, Colorado, just up the street. Great Divide Brewing Company. Where is it at? Do you know the actual uh, It's right off 20th and Rapid. There you go. Awesome, awesome beer. Awesome, awesome tap room. Today we're going to be tasting a really cool one. We're going to be tasting their espresso oak aged Yeti. Imperial stuff, if you will. Um, it's really cool. It's a really good look at it. We're gonna get a closer one here in a second. Uh, Aged with oak chips. Uh, they do have a barrel aging system going on there. A lot of times, the stuff that's more available year round or seasonal won't hit big barrels for aging. They say that for other stuff like a strength hand aged or roughy or um, a lot of cool different stuff. I could type. But this is to be a really cool beer. Uh, the only espresso style of styles I've had before is like. Uh, Avery's Mephistopheles, or rather Met Addict, which is huge for his press coffee beans. It's intense. So I'm hoping this is up there with that. 9.5%, 22 ounce bomber, winter release essentially, if not year round. I'm not sure which to be honest. Uh, but great to buy. Freaking awesome brewery. And we're going to taste some freaking awesome beer. You ready? I am ready. Cool. We're going to pop it open and uh, we're going to go from there. Let's do it. All right. Espresso Oaked Age Yeti by Great to Buy Brewing Company. Dan? You ready to pour? I'm ready to pour. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ah, the sound of fresh foil. Sound of happiness. Exactly. Uh, today we're pouring into Snifters, what I like to drink my stat as. You can see it pours out like black, viscous mortar oil and ink. All right, already right off the bat, pitch black underneath, deep, deep, dark chocolate mocha style head to it. Head has tiny, tiny bubbles, but it's sitting there, right? Just sitting there, not receding quickly at all. At all whatsoever. Looks really pretty in a, in a sniffer, wouldn't you say? It does look pretty in a sniffer, absolutely. And that's a really phenomenal pour. I mean, you're looking at literally, if you get close here, it's about an inch just under a head, which is nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and taste it. You ready for that? I believe I am. All right, so we have the Oak Days Espresso Yeti by Great Divide, nicely poured. Um, I love stouts. Do you like stouts? Do you pick stuff in? Um, I'm hit or miss. It just really depends on uh, the style, or not the style, but just the flavor of the stout. It just really depends. I love Guinness, but okay. Guinness being a foreign extra dry stout essentially is what it comes down to. Dry, dry malts. What I like about stouts is the richness, it's the whole character of the malts. I like something when you take a sip of it, you're like, oh my god, this is dessert mixed with flavor and coffee and espresso. Like big bitter stouts, um, Stones and Pure Russian stouts are one example. Avery is the czar. And of course, here we are with Great Divides of the Espresso. So, cheers. Cheers. Let's do this like. Ooh, what are you getting on that? Instantly oak. I mean, there's no doubt that this is, this is uh, an oak age stout of any sort. I mean, this is clearly. Yeah, I and mean, you're getting oak, which I get too. Also, getting almost some caramel, maybe mm -hmm. some vanilla. Vanilla for sure, which is going to come from the oak in the, bar in the barrel, uh, the oak chips or barrel aging. Huge amounts of espresso involved in this. Yes. Um, like this is, it looks like a shot of espresso. It smells like an oaky shot of espresso. It almost even sits like a shot of espresso. It does. Uh, just massive, massive espresso qualities to the notes. You're getting a lot of cocoa, you're getting a bitter, sweet and chocolate. You're just getting big, dark, roasted flavors to it. That's cool. Well, let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Cheers. Cheers. That's my stout. This is good. That is fantastic. Big coffee, big espresso. It's still thick. It's not really rich though. Um, it's drinkability is, is definitely there. You, it, you can sit and it's, it's sip on this and it, it's, it's a great flavor. Absolutely. Yeah, this is one of the ones where you almost, this is a meal in itself. It's thick enough. Yeah. And at 9.5%, I mean, you're definitely pushing the bounds of what someone would consider a super high ABV beer. I would, I would consider sharing this with someone before taking it. Absolutely. When we're done with this, the staff is getting it because I can't finish it. Um, but this is delicious. I can see why Great Divide does like an eight ounce pour on this because it needs more of your trash. Yeah. You imagine this is a car bomb. You really want to mix it all up. That sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think I have an idea now. So the malt itself, really, really heavy. Yeah. Um, it does have a dry finish on the very back of the palate that I'm getting to. So if you're, like you said, you like Guinness, you're getting that dry effect on the finish. It's definitely not rich and it's not bitter. The malt themselves are not so charred and roasted that it's just 
like, to, and it's sweet, but it's, I don't really care for sweet beers, but it's not, I mean, the, it's well balanced once again. It's the dryness, a uh, little, little subtle sweetness in there, but it's, it's prevalent, but not overpowered. Definitely a touch of sweetness to it. And it's super huge coffee. If you, you, you drink Starbucks on a daily basis, this is a better version of it, if you ask me. Um, definitely make you feel right, to say that much. Uh, I'm saying winter. That's when I would drink it. When would you drink it? You know, winter, winter, maybe a, a chilly spring day. Fair enough. Maybe something like that. Um, absolutely, season change. But uh, you know, stats are always excellent for winter time. No doubt about that. I just I want a leather chair, um, a really awesome cigar, and a fireplace. And company. Don't forget the ottoman. An ottoman. Kick your ottoman with like a kick deer or a deer or a lamb, a venison rug. I'll put it that way. I'm a bear skin rug guy myself. Bear skin? Yeah. I totally see that. That's what you're going to drink this with. It's pretty yummy here. It's no joke. You do what you want to do. This is a freaking awesome beer. I freaking love this. I don't know if I want to drink it or rub it all over my face. It's like, it's so freaking good. <sighs> this is great. Um, yeah, so wintertime, food that I pair with, I, I need something savory. Uh, definitely something that the coffee could work off of really, really well. Intense rich chocolate would go well with this, but I think so with a really juicy ribeye or a sirloin, something. I think it's steak, absolutely. It, I want it almost maybe slightly charred just to accentuate all the charred, the, the charred balls that are involved. Maybe like a uh, bacon, wrap, bacon wrap filet mignon, something like that. Bacon wrapped anything is amazing. I can't go wrong. I've always wanted to see a special at a restaurant that was bacon wrapped bacon. Maybe rolled around in prosciutto and cooked in bacon fat. And then drink this with it. That's all I gotta say. Side of the tour. <laughs> awesome. Uh, great divide. Uh, you have outdone yourself once again. Your seventh anniversary was amazing. This blows my mind. Actually, this was bottled in December 2010. So it's had a little bit of time to sit and rest with me. Um, I didn't want to hop right into it. I wanted to mellow out a little bit. It's awesome. This was a gift from Great Divide. You guys are amazing. Please continue to do what you do. I highly recommend it. Can't wait. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Thank you all for joining us. Go to your liquor store. Don't hesitate. Buy a case. You'll thank me next year. Imperial Oak Aged Yeti. This is not your dad's beer.